Hey guys and welcome to Gamer here for my map guide of ruins today. It's a really awesome map. Of course, we got the predator on it. There's loads of different things that happen on this map. Obviously, we've got the strike in the background of the mountains and stuff. It's an awesome, awesome map, and I absolutely love it. It kind of brings all the different themes. You know, we got jungly kind of themes. We got the temple kind of themes. Uh, look at that. That is just awesome. But yeah, today is my map guide. I'm going to be covering my top five weapons on this map that I suggest for using it. Um, I'm also going to do my tips and tricks, the best things about this map, and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, like and, and you know, share, and whatever, would be absolutely awesome. You can go and check out my other map guides and dev devastation videos if you'd like to. But thanks guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so like I said, domination is what I normally do on the maps, just because it shows you about capturing them and stuff. So obviously if you spawn at A, it's fairly easy. And if you're trying to capture A, you know, just stay close to the rocks. I don't know if you... Yeah, you can stay right to the edge of the rock, and they won't see you, so uh, that's pretty easy. A secure. And We're in the lead. no, you can't even really hide in the shrubbery, so don't think about doing that. Now, this is such a kind of chaotic map at times. It's really ridiculous, but watch out for all the little, you know, pieces of vinery and just all that stuff, because it is, it is useful for hiding you sometimes. That's what I'd, I'd just like to say. Now, let's see our little... Can we get up? I don't think we can get up on any of this stuff again. But as obviously you can see, it's quite a nice little area, neat little area, and we can't hide that well. So anyway, yeah, so what I suggest, this is the opposite side of the map that you start on. So obviously if you're secure in C, it's quite easy if you're obviously just spawned here, it's super, super easy. But if you're capturing, it's a bit more difficult because they can have the advantage because they're above you. Just try and stay as close to the wall and you should be fine. If people come, then I would get in the corner. But just, you know, keep sitting back and then, you know, try and take them out. But stay down. Like, that That would be my thing. Anyway, yeah, up these steps, we have the main little fortress area there. Or you can alternatively go round. You can't jump up. No, you can't jump on there. You can alternatively go around here. So this is like a neat little thing if you just want to check there. Not really worth noting. And then we've got two options from here onwards. You can go up here. Which is a place you really do not want to be. Everywhere, you know, there's people here come from every direction. So don't. So just watch these stairs when you come past them. Yeah, just you can throw a flashbang at something if you want. But if you're trying to get to the other side of the map, you want to be going around here ideally. So you can go through there, which is quite good. Just although the only problem is you've got to watch out from above because I believe somewhere there's a little hole in the thing. And that of course brings you out here. And this is a nice little area. I almost expect this to be another place, but obviously it's not, so. And if you're screwing B, the problem you've got is, I don't think it'll... Oh, it will! Oh. Yeah, if you lie on the floor like that, that's that's good. There we go. You can stay right by the wall, hide in the little shrub, that's... Whoops. Yeah, like that. I would definitely say that's the the way forward. And then, obviously, we're back to this mid, midi, mid kind of area, and then, obviously, you get that way and that way. So, it's a bit weird, I'd say. I don't... B is a bit different, it's not in the middle like normal, so you've only really got to worry. If you're coming from that way, then you've only really got to go worry from that way. Now around here, obviously, you're not going to hear as well because of that water flowing, so just be aware of that. And this is an excellent place if you want to set up and be a camper, so I think that'd be absolutely perfect. You know, you can imagine some sentry gun there, shooting that way, you have IDs over there, you can just get them, that'd be absolutely perfect. So this is this shouts out camp. So, not, not camp like you are, camp like, please camp, that's what I mean. So it's a big, well this area is kind of more open, so you've got to be careful. I mean, you could be quite stealthy around here. I'll be getting to that main part in just a second. So, another thing is, what these sounds that you hear, let's just listen to it. That sound of like thick dirt and ground and mud or whatever. You don't want, that. that is really easily, like, heard. So, crouch down and you will not hear a thing. Obviously, I'm not saying go across the whole map like this, because that's going to be just difficult. But what I mean is, you know, sprint, and then when you've got to the place, just go, you know, and crouch, yeah? Now, this is a really nice weapon I'm using now. That's why it's my favourite weapon for this map. It's just a lot of long ranges, you can see from here, you know, with the iron sight. Look how perfect that is. That's an amazing weapon. I don't really use the this weapon, but it's amazing for this weapon. So I'm going to have to... Uh, this map, sorry. So I'm going to have to use it more, and I definitely suggest this is the weapon that you should be using. So, if you're trying to get someone away from A and you want to capture A, there's someone there. Throw a flashbang round, yeah? Jump down. 
because they'll be expecting them to come out from there because it gives them a little arrow on the screen as to where the flashbang came from and then come down there shoot them like that they will not really expect a thing and then you know do you check if anyone's there do your jump shot and then like i said before stay close to the wall like that it's that simple and you should succeed every time just make sure make note that overhead it, there is a bit of ground as well but that's not really too much to worry about so that's pretty much the main part of it i'm just going to be covering this little bit here and then we're going to be talking about the weapons i use etc so this main part here like i said so that's the hit you don't go to you've got two main exits here okay you've got this one at and entrances, whatever you want to call it. This one and the one on the other side. They both really essentially do the same thing. If you want to stay in here, put an ID down there and an either like another IED or some kind of thing or a sentry gun, whatever. And then this is really nice, neat, you know, because let me show you, you can't really see them that well. You don't you no one really looks up there. I trust me, people walking past they don't really look up there, so you're really well not exactly hidden but you're not really going to be seen that well, okay? So that's why I'd say that. Now, th this little balcony area is really nice. If you can see, you could you could just can. Let me see. I don't think you can actually see the flag. No, you can't. They deliberately done that. They did say you could throw a flashbang over there. I suppose you could jump down and then. Wow, we didn't die from that. Wow. So and then you could go around. But yeah, that's our. A little bit. This is a nice, nice area if you want to just try and hold down, defend an area, and get some kills. Because the thing is, all right, it's really, really good. Because if you want to dominate, you need two or more flags. Okay, so you can cover these two flags. If someone's there, you jump down and go get them. You come back up here, right? You do a similar thing. You try and shoot some enemies. When there's anyone going near there, yeah, all you have to do, right? All you have to do is go down there and go over the edge. That simple. Yeah, so if you're trying to attack the flag, you can also attack from above. Just depends where they are, though, because if they're over there looking at you, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think we covered all that. Just be careful when going around corners of this map, because people can hide. It's a lot more difficult. And like I said, I'm not sure whether I said it in this video or not, but I'm, I'll be doing the Predator as a separate video. I don't want to do it on this video, because it takes too long. I'll be doing a guide, though. If you guys want to see that, then just leave a comment. Say, you know, do a guide about how to be the Predator and how to, you know, defeat the Predator and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, so like holding down this area is really good because you can get the kills and then you can get hold down, you know, you can get that flag quite easily, defend it, and then get that one too. Then capture it and then come back up here, and then you've pretty much got domination of practically the whole map. So you're pretty much covered on that one. So the last thing just to quickly cover then is the weapon. So at number one, I would definitely say the, I don't even know what this weapon is called, the M M27 IAR is such a good weapon. Absolutely amazing. You know, it's really good. I love the iron sight. It's just absolutely amazing. So the next weapon is the Maverick. Now it's, I don't know, it really depends up to you, but I have the speed reload on the Maverick, and it's got the muzzle brake, so it's really good, again, for those ranges. It's an assault rifle, and it, it's not the best, but it's still quite a good weapon. I didn't want to use any of the other assault rifles because they seem a bit weak in this kind of section, so definitely something with the muzzle brake is definitely what we're kind of aiming for here. So next weapon is the MTAR X, and... Wow, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get, wow, can we jump off the edge, I wonder, nope, we can't, alright, well, so, the next weapon then to cover is, if I can fight, well, would have been, what was it, yeah, the M, the M27, yeah, so, I mean, essentially, the thing about this is, it's a good weapon, because it's, an SMG, so you can handle it quite quickly, but at the same time, I'm going to try and see if I can kill myself here. I don't think I can. But yeah, at the same time, what you... Wow. Okay, we can't kill ourselves. God damn it, I just want to kill myself. I want to die. Come on. Wow. Wow. Screw you, Call of Duty. Anyway, yes, the M... Sorry, the... What was I talking about? The Avatar Rex is a good weapon. Yes, it's an SMG, but it's... If you put Mars Break on it, it's really good as well. Essentially the same as the um, Maverick. And the MR28, you would not expect it, actually, for this map. Yeah, you would not. But that's something that's really good as well. And it, the reason why it's so good is because it's like... It's a bit like a sniper, but it's also like an assault rifle. So... I mean, yeah, you, you, oh god, yeah, the M2 R28 is really, really good, because 
it, the sniper rifle ability, I'm going to say, I don't, I don't know, the ability of it means that you can shoot semi-automatic, but then if you're close range, it also works for that as well. So, I don't know. I'm really screwing up here. I can't can't change my weapon, damn it. Don't worry. And the last weapon is the SC-2010, yes. And I use a silencer on this map, so it's a bit more of a silent class, that one. But it is good as well. You can sneak up and get those flags. But how, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you do, a like would be absolutely awesome for this video. Again, if you want to check out any of the other Devastation videos, then that would be my pleasure. Because I've done a few of them, and I just hope you guys have enjoyed that. But... I will see you on my next video, which is going to be very soon, and take care until then. Bye, guys.